If you're trying to find just a computer monitor, I mean just a computer monitor for under $500 that's as good as the display that's on this computer, nothing would come even close. And that's why so many people like the 2015 27-inch 5K IMAX so much, is you get such a very nice display in a computer that's under $500. But this is still a nine year old computer. So I wanted to do a review as to see how well does it hold up in 2024? Let us find out. Now, starting off with that 27 inch 5K display, it has a 5,120 by 2,880 resolution. And this is something that you immediately notice looking at this computer is how sharp, how crisp, how clear the display on this looks. And the colors are still absolutely amazing. It doesn't quite support P3 wide color gamut that you get on the 2017 5K IMAX, but it is still good enough for anybody who might plan on doing it for some photo editing or even any other type of work. Now, while this display does look really nice, it isn't without its issues. And one of those issues being, especially with these earlier 5K IMAX, is image retention. And what image retention is, is let's say you have a still image displayed on the screen for about two to three minutes. If you move that still image and you still see like a faint remnant of the image up on screen, that's a sign that the display has an image retention issue and that might not be a good sign. So if you are thinking about buying one of these, maybe put like a checkerboard pattern up on screen and then set the wallpaper to like a darker, like grayish wallpaper and see if you see a faint remnant of that checkerboard pattern up on screen. But for the most part, I don't think most people will have an issue with it. Just make sure that you set a screensaver to start after a few minutes of uh, non-use. And then moving over to the design of this computer, it has like this really slim profile, which looks super sleek. And it's tilt adjustable, but it's not height adjustable. So that might be a problem. If you want more height, you may have to get like books or like a little riser for it. And on the back, you have four USB ports, two Thunderbolt 2 ports, an SD card slot, an ethernet jack, a headphone jack. And unfortunately there isn't any USB-C, but you can get adapters to add USB-C to it. And if you really like want to compare with USB-C, you can consider getting the 2017 5K iMac that has two USB-C ports built in. And then you might've noticed this little hatch in the back. This hatch is a RAM upgrade hatch. So if you want to, you could upgrade the computer up to 32 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM which is really nice. I wouldn't recommend it because I don't think people are gonna need more than 16 gigabytes of RAM typically, but that is an option for you to do that if you really want to. And then this computer too is also a really powerful computer, which is actually kind of unfortunate because this can only go up to Mac OS Monterey and a lot of developers that make the professional apps like Adobe Photoshop, Microsoft Word, all that type of stuff, they typically only support these computers with the latest updates for their apps or even support altogether for about two to three years after this computer gets the latest major Mac OS updates. So that might be a problem for some of these apps now or even a year or two down the line. But performance wise though, this computer is still really good and I still wanna do some tests. But before I get into those tests, there is a way you can kind of try to get around this and that's using Open Core Legacy Patcher it does take a lot of work to set up and it may be glitchy at times, but it is a way where you can prolong the life of this computer by an extra few years. So that might be something one consider doing or watching videos online uh, on how to do that. But anyways, getting into the test, the specs of the computer I have here has a four gigahertz quad core i7 with 32 gigabytes of RAM, four gigabytes of AMD Radeon R9 M395X graphics and a one terabyte SSD. Now, I know the computer I have here is pretty spec'd out compared to what you might get on like a base configuration. However, I think performance wise it is gonna be pretty similar for most people. And where the main differentiating factor is gonna line all of this is actually the hard drive. So a lot of these base model 2015 IMAX either have a one terabyte just hard disk hard drive or a one terabyte fusion drive. And those hard drives are typically good enough for most people but you might notice it being slow when you first boot it up or download applications or do large data transfers. And if that is an issue for you, there are two workarounds you can do to get around this. Uh, one, you can try to upgrade the SSD in the computer yourself and potentially risk breaking a display that's about worth as much as the computer. 
or two, you can buy a nice high quality hard drive off of Amazon, like a Samsung T9 SSD, and then follow a tutorial on how to make it bootable. Now, I will have links in the description as to where you can buy one of these and follow a tutorial on how to do that. And that might be an extra way to save some money and uh, potentially time is by doing that. Now, the first test I tried doing on this computer is Adobe Photoshop. And when I first opened it up, I got a nice little warning saying that it may not run smoothly because it's on an older Mac OS version. However, when I still worked on it and I still put my image in there, I made some edits, I even tried doing the generative AI build tool with it, it still loaded really well and I didn't have any issues using it. And then other applications too, I tried doing Final Cut Pro and iMovie, but wouldn't even let me download it because they weren't supported. But I did try downloading DaVinci Resolve and when I opened up DaVinci, I put my clips in there, I made some 1080p video edits and that handled it really, really well, which makes sense because this was once, you know, a video editor's computer. And then Microsoft 365 is still support on this. However, it is on its last life. So maybe in a year or two, it may not get the latest updates or potentially get drop support altogether. So if you are thinking about buying this and use the cloud version of Microsoft Office, that may become an issue. But despite all this, this computer is still really, really good for casual use. So if you plan on just buying this just to get some work done, uh, browsing the web, using Google Docs, Canva, uh, downloading applications off the web, all that type of stuff, this computer is still really good for that, especially with that 5K display. So don't be disappointed at all if you just plan on buying this computer for things like that. But anyways, if you are thinking about buying this computer, I would actually recommend trying to check locally because typically that's where you're gonna find the best deal so you don't have to worry about shipping costs or it possibly breaking and shipping. But if you are thinking about buying a computer and you want a small percent of your purchase to go back to supporting the channel, I will have links down below that you can click on and if you go and buy something through those links, that comes back and helps me out a lot. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day and goodbye.